Hi there! Would you like to learn how to paint more freely? In this video, I show you how to turn a simple sketch into a beautiful artwork. Join the painting party! Hi, I'm Natalie. And on this channel, I give you painting tutorials for beginners, as well as for artists who want to try something different. For the past three years, I've been doing painting workshops here locally with my company called Pause and Paint. And now I bring the painting party to you. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you can get my notifications. As always, I give you notes and everything I use for this painting, so please check the description below. So let's get started in painting this artwork from a simple sketch. You'll need warm yellow, black, bright red, cool blue, a gold white, and rose gold. Don't forget to print your stencil and a piece of carbon paper. The brushes I'm using are a number 18 flat brush, a 12 bright, a number 12 round, and a small detail round brush, number two. So other tools that you will need are a cup of water, paper towels or rags, a sponge, texturing tools. I'm using either dollies or this fancy oval laser cut wood shapes. So the medium I'm using right now for my background is from Golden Acrylics. Uh, it's called Interference Gold Fine. So it's um, a little pricey and if you want to get a really nice result you can just use some gold paint mixed with some white and it's going to give you a really nice background as well now i'm using my little uh, laser cut shapes to add some um, some texturing in the background now you could use a dolly you could also um, use just your sponge and just create some texture in the background. I just found this little laser cut to give me a nice, uh, a nice texture. I really like it. So I just press on my paint that's not dry yet and I press from the back as well. Now I'm just showing you how it really shimmer. I love that medium um, for a really nice shiny effect. But like I said, white and gold would be a very nice background as well. I just saw a few areas that I wanted to add more of my texture and that's what I'm doing now. I painted the side of my canvas with the rose gold. Now I'm taking a wet sponge adding just a tiny bit of paint, the rose gold, and I'm just gonna uh, continue to add some of that rose gold color in very small amount all around my canvas. It just creates a nice kind of framing effect. I really like the iridescent like pearl color with the rose gold, it's really pretty. I added um, a few dab with my sponge just on the background but very very light. I mostly want to keep the rose gold frame around my canvas. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and come back in five, 10 minutes when everything is dry. Now my canvas is completely dry. I secured the stencil and placed a piece of carbon paper underneath. And I'm gonna trace over every single lines. Press hard enough so that you have a nice transfer of your simple sketch. So before you remove your stencil and carbon paper, make sure you check and see that all your lines are there. Take some white paint and with your number 12 flat brush, cover the area where the women are. So you basically have six women 
from their head to their faces, hair, and their dress, all the way to where the bottom of their dress kind of flare out. Uh, cover this whole area with your white paint. You want to apply the paint um, with a thick to uh, medium thick layers, but you, you should still be able to see your guidelines. Reload your brush often to make sure you have enough paint. And you should see how the contrast between the pearl effect of your background with the flat um, texture of the white paint already gives you a kind of a really cool effect. If you want to use a smaller brush, more of a round brush, for the smaller areas, you can do that. So wait maybe two to three minutes um, for the paint to dry a little bit. It doesn't have to be entirely dry. Mix some red and black paint. So equal amount of black and red paint to create your entire outlines. Make sure you uh, keep your the tip of your brush nice and clean. I always keep a paper towel to remove the excess paint. Uh, I also keep my stencil in my hand just in case you miss some of the guidelines because uh, we painted over them. Uh, even though you should still be able to see them, just have your stencil, your illustration handy so you don't miss um, painting any guidelines. So go over every single lines that you traced from your illustration. This is a very simple illustration and um, uh, I did this sketch when I was at a Beth Moore event. It was very dark in the room and I, I was just so inspired by her devotional and it, it was, I was with some friends and they were uh, listening, taking notes, but I had my sketch pad with me and all I could do was draw. I was so inspired by what she, she was saying um, and she was talking about women at this point, how women are stronger together. And I created this sketch of six women uh, worshiping, uh, standing in a circle and, and obviously being stronger together. And I really love that sketch so much. That's why I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to change it. I really uh, followed the exact sketch, the exact very simple sketch I created that day. And I wanted to keep the simplicity of it, but add color and make it do it with, with paint. So the bottom of the dress is where their roots, like their, that's where they're, they're uh, getting together. And um, I, I wasn't sure how I was going to add the colors, but uh, I, I really wanted them to stay in unity. Uh, so the way I created the paint, you'll see, I, I didn't have a practice for this. I just kind of did it once and that's what you're doing now. So uh, it's really exciting. So I used a warm yellow to create the center woman. The, to me, she would be the leader. She would be um, the one that has um, pizzazz and that likes to stand out. And the leader, the, lead, the born leader is, yellow, is wearing a warm yellow dress. So with your medium um, number 12 round brush, just use the pure warm yellow and cover the entire area of her dress. Acrylic paints dry really quickly, so I applied a second coat.
The way I do the little brush strokes at the bottom like that uh, is to like almost represent her seeds, what she's sharing with the world. So the color of her dress, um, I made those brush strokes at the bottom to represent her in the soil. Now I mix some black with my red. So mix it well, use the same brush. We're using the round number 12 round brush and cover the area of the woman next to her. Um, actually, it's, it's the woman um, having her, her back to us. So it's the woman facing her, basically. I wanted to contrast already with the, with the warm yellow. I put some black into the red paint to give a deep red um, tone to that color and, and just make a very rich red. So I cover the area of her dress and again, do some brush strokes at the bottom to represent her and what she's planting in the soil with those rich uh, red brush strokes. I'm gonna add more. Right now I'm going back uh, for a second coat in her dress. Now I'm also painting the area of her dress that is um, kind of in the center, her waist area. So I'm just gonna do the top so kind of going over that area of her dress and i'm going to also paint her um, waist under the arm of the the girl on the on the left or on my right so i'm using my round brush your you you could m switch to um, your small number two round brush as well if that area is a little small for you to reach Reload your brush and make sure you remove the excess paint. And now I'm painting the waist. I'm applying the paint quite thick, but if you want, you can add a thin coat and go over it a second time. Now I'm using the back of my brush to create what I call etching. So I almost carve into what I painted to create um, just texturing. I go again and do a little bit of a line and then I paint over it. And you can see when I add my paint, it still leaves me with that texture. I love doing that. A few more brush strokes at the bottom. And again, this is her colors. Now I rinse my brush and I'm using the pure blue. I didn't mix any other color with my pure uh, cool blue. This is going to probably still mix a little bit with the white that I just applied because it's not entirely dry yet. So you can see that's why I'm, start, I'm starting to see a little bit of a, a lighter shade and that's I, I really like that I think it gives a cool effect if you wanted to add a little bit of white paint because maybe your paint is drier than when I created my dress you could add a little bit of white in your cool blue right now I'm just using the straight color out of the tube I leave a little bit of a gap between the uh, red the deep red and blue just to see the, um, the outline of their dresses. I take my time and apply the paint very loosely. You know, there's nothing about this painting is, um, you know, prepared or practiced. Uh, this is very, this is to me the definition of painting very freely starting from a simple sketch. So I continue to fill the area of her dress, the blue dress. I might make some changes towards the end. So if I do that, of course, I'm going to give you this step and I might change uh, you know, how the, the dresses uh, transition work with one another. But for now, I'm happy with this. I'm putting the blue brush strokes to determine her colors, her voice in the soil. I like, I really like how this painting 
again, it wasn't rehearsed. It wasn't something that I meant to do, but it makes so much sense now that their colors are what unites them. Now I'm mixing red with the warm yellow, just a little bit of red with the warm yellow and um, a little bit of white. So I'm creating one shade darker of uh, the warm yellow. And I paint the woman on the far right. The paint dries uh, so quickly. It's it's easy to uh, just go over it and, and make it quite thick from a, like one single or just like two applications. I love working with acrylics for that. Again, doing my brush strokes in the soil, creating even more unity and making the paint the painting come together. Now I'm using the pure red with the same brush. I'm painting the woman next to her. I'm kind of hesitating if I'm gonna do like both of the area. You can see that there's um, lines defining their body and uh, it, it's such um, a, a free flowing sketch uh, and like I was saying earlier I didn't I didn't practice this so I might I might change it towards the end but for now I'm going to add the red paint in that slim little area that little wave in the center if you look on the left side you see the final painting you can see that I came back and added the red afterwards but that comes later if you want to do that now you can do it but i will be adding it towards the end right now i'm kind of thinking as i paint you can see me think with my paintbrush <laughs> Am I gonna add it? Am I not gonna add it? <laughs> so you can see that I cross over to the bottom, but I'm not quite ready to go to the other section, which is what I do later. Right now I just decided to do my brush strokes in the soil, adding the red color. I really love the representation of this painting. Uh, when I did the black and white sketch, it was already strong as, as a sketch. So I wanted to keep the simplicity of it, but with paint, bring it alive and bring it even more um, of, its sing of its meaning. And um, I'm really happy again how it turned out because to me it is doing uh, what I wanted it to do with the paint, which is adding emotion and expression. Now I'm using the rose gold and I'm painting part of her garment. Uh, we can't really see that it's a dress. It's kind of just the top of her, of her dress. So I'm adding the rose gold in that area right there. The metallic paint is very opaque, so I don't even need a second coat. It's already it's already given me uh, when I what I wanted to do, uh, just with with the first application. So it, it's really fun to paint with metallics.
again applying the paint very freely um, just color blocking but at the same time just knowing that I'm already really happy with what what we're doing with with the paint and um, the meaning of the colors I'm doing the brush strokes at the bottom which is the soil and adding the metallic rose gold if you want to add more of the brush strokes at the bottom you're definitely um, you know totally welcome to do that it's almost like stones, like they, they look like pebbles that they're standing on. Right there, I'm adding a brush stroke on the side uh, of the blue. That's kind of spontaneous. Now I went back with my small number two round brush and grabbed some white paint and I'm doing some uh, little white brush strokes at the bottom to um, just kind of go in between all the colors, adding some swirls to the background. They're not that color white on um, pearl or metallic is not as noticeable but I am adding brush strokes to the background and very freely if you want to do more swirls or whatever brush strokes you want to do you could do little waves and now I'm adding those brush strokes at the bottom as well in between the colors kind of to tie tie in the colors I want you to be playful at this point. Just have fun with your brush strokes. And I always want to add some highlights. So of course I'm gonna go on the silhouettes and add little brush strokes of white within my uh, color blocking of the dresses. Feel free to add more or if you want less. I'm kind of just going where the light would hit their body. little brush strokes of white paint here and there to me it's fun uh, to do that it just adds some animation to just brings brings everything alive I, I mixed a tiny bit of blue and doing the same thing for as far as high highlighting the dresses but with a little bit of blue the light blue and I'm going kind of uh, freely in the background adding the touches of blue it looks really pretty next to the white to me that color the light blue represents the water um, the Holy Spirit um, how it just unites them all and uh, for some reason that color really brings the painting uh, unity it really does when I put the, the bright or the light blue I just really felt like my painting came together I loved it
you can follow every steps that I'm showing right now or feel free to add more wherever your painting is calling you uh, to add more of that light blue go ahead now I went back to my round brush my number 12 and I picked up some of the red to finish the dress where I wasn't sure if it was going to be red in that area but you can see that it was a good choice because it just gives more of the shape of her dress I really like that and um, I washed my uh, brush picked up some of the orange so the red with a little bit of warm yellow and just did that little area uh, above the the red dress I'm adding a little bit of warm yellow to the center woman and now I do little brush strokes with the warm yellow not too much just here and there you can see there's about six brush strokes not too many i'm looking for just little areas to add a tiny tiny brush stroke of the warm yellow now i picked up some red and i'm going to do the same thing adding a tiny bit of paint in the background little brush strokes little specks of red this is the bright red. So I did a few brush strokes of bright red and then I'm using the dark warm yellow and doing the same thing. Very small, tiny brush strokes. And quickly picked up some of the deep red and then the blue. So every color that I used in the six dresses, um, I'm adding little brush strokes in the background, little specks of colors. I'm going over the blue dress a little bit. And now here's the change that I made. On the, it's almost like a velvet red, I carried out her arm so instead of having the blue in that area I added the deep red and then a little line of white to highlight her arm embracing the woman on the left I really love that I hope you take the time to make that little change it's very subtle but it made a huge difference I love that part I think it's it really made a big difference. I'm adding last little touches of white at the bottom. Last little pieces of highlights. Oops, I'm removing a little bit of highlight I did there just to make the blue a little deeper and I bring out her hip just to make that area a little a little bit bigger with the deep red and then with a touch of white highlight her hip there so for me i was all done and the last touch was a red ribbon and a white frame I really hope you had fun painting with me today. And I also really hope that you'll be turning more of your sketches into paintings. So if you wanna join me for more painting tutorials, you can see my list right here. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so that you can get my notifications. Question of the day. When was the last time you took your sketchbook to a museum or a park or an event? Let me know in the comment below. And until my next video, stay creative.